neighbors think I'm crazy because in their time, cribs, cribs, cribs. So my grandma wants to buy me a crib, which is nice of her, but I didn't want a crib. I wanted something a little different that fits into my tiny space because I do have a small home, a thousand square feet. It's small to me. I don't know about it. Some people are rocking out with 500, but it's a very tiny home. So I just didn't feel like cluttering it and she's trying, she just trying to make it work and it just won't. Okay, it just won't. Like, I want what I want, and this is what I want. I love plants, I love natural wood, I love bamboo, uh, and I just love stuff that's more sustainable and lasts. I want to feel like I can have it if I want to have it for multiple children or whatever I want to do. I don't want to feel like I have to keep replacing stuff, and a lot of people do that. Whatever's trending is trending for that time, so it has a lot of elements that are specific to that time, whereas some things are timeless. I like timeless, so that's why I picked Scandy Born. This is my first time ever ordering from this company. This is my first time ever dealing with them, but I searched everywhere. I did all my research. I'm a money saver. So me spending the thousand dollars, two thousand dollars on a rat and cradle that's I feel is made out of wicker and all of these things. Why should I have to pay? that much money for a cradle that my baby is going to be in for the first year of their life not going to happen so this one was affordable they did have some more expensive options like they had some that were going up to like a thousand to fifteen hundred those types of price ranges but that's just not me but this one was the cutest for the budget it was perfect this one cost me a little over three hundred dollars like three hundred and fifty or three thirty or something like that before the original price was 250, it was 248 to be exact. So I was kind of a little bit upset because I inquired about this product and once I inquired about it and they restocked, they restocked at a higher price. So I was a little bit like, eh, should I do it? But I still went on ahead and did it. I still felt like it was a great value. So I went ahead with it, but Scandy Born, I'm watching you. Okay, so I want to unwrap this with you guys. And if you, this is my desk, I'm a seamstress, so I have a lot of fabric and things over there, my iron, and it's just a desk. I don't even know if you can see that. We are going to see, because I am very excited. You won't be able to see me standing, but that's all right. It's not about me. some silk in the middle and have the border mud cloth which I'm also I'm actually gonna show you guys that as well because I think I have it easily so This is the fabric that I think I want to do the border with. I think that would be beautiful. We shall see. I do like to do a lot of DIYs, so definitely gonna be good. Legs. So pretty. Somebody's gonna have to clean it up later. Just wait till my daughter gets out of school. Oh my god, this is exciting. This 
makes my little heart smile. Definitely the first They really wrapped this up good. Like it came in a box, then it came in this cardboard, and these legs are really well wrapped. Like they have some sort of tie wrapping around to make sure the cardboard doesn't fall out of place. <clears throat> it feels really good. I was afraid that the stand was gonna have metal or something in it. Nope. It's a full rat and cradle. It's really pretty. This rat and cradle is made by Child Home as well. So the manufacturer is Child Home Belgium. It's really nice. It's full on wood. It's just a few outside pieces actually. The screws actually are the only thing that are not with the wood. Okay. I want to remove this from here. Super light, so I'm five months pregnant. And it's still really light on me. And, uh, right on out the way. Let's move that. Let's move that. are taped to that's so cute Aww. mattress 